Hey everybody, I am Blind Ryan, and I've been wanting to do this video for a couple of days now, and this is video 15 of Final Fantasy XIV, Described for the Blind. <coughs> We're finally doing side quests for Limsa, for Middle Lanoska. We are in Summerford Farms. It is a series of orchards um, going up a hill, and in the hill they have hollowed out this... Built, or they built walls and hollowed out this building. And I don't know how many quests we've got here, but it doesn't look like too many. So, Grinwita is a farmer. Summerford Farms bears the charge of the Admiral's Settlement Initiative. We're rewarded handsomely for br to brave new frontiers. <clears throat> Yet, if we fail to fulfill our part of the bargain, the grant will be withdrawn. In spite of this, these washed-up pirates elect to laze their days away. Hmm... Need coffee. There is still time. We need only clear away the rocks and debris for the area to be deemed settled. If you're willing to help, you'll find a shovel outside that hut on the hillside. And there is indeed a hut. A tiller shovel. So we're doing this as a rogue, and our current rogue gear is um, a puffy shirt. Oh wait, we can we put new stuff. Okay. So now we've got our brand new tabard, brand new shirt, uh, skirt. Brand new boots, foe striker mitts. Do we have new dags? We do not have new dags. But they're level 10 dags, and we're level 16, so could be worse. <clears throat> so I got rid of the bandana on our boy. So he's got more, uh... He's got more scales on his head. But what the fuck is he wearing? Oh, plundered goggles. Cool. Now we pop off the uh, all the debris and rocks and such. And then when we finish, we can go down to Lower Lanoska. <clears throat> pop one of these rocks to um, to Morby Dry Docks. Probably as a marauder. Or as an alchemist. Or an arcanist. Probably arcanist, actually. Because marauder I can just do with a fucking... A daily... Uh, a daily dungeon. <coughs> Excuse me. As for our lad's story, the Corel plan of the aura um their big thing is the coming of age you go into the into the asm step and you kill a tiger barehanded well his story is that as he was fighting his tiger a bear came out of nowhere and killed it player kill or it, uh, kill stole and it fucked him off so much that he killed the fucking bear instead made his armor out of that and then, you know, he's got my usual born early, blind, deaf, asthma, chronic pain, blah, blah, blah. So, nothing too big. Nothing you know, major. Nothing, nothing, nothing that I need to make a video about, basically. Uh, you've certainly proven you are not one to let obstacles stand in your path. Eventually I will, though. <clears throat> Once I have enough to say. If only the supposedly pioneering pirates were half as industrious as you. Expanding borders is all well and good, but the Admiral ought to know that rugged frontiers can't be settled by layabouts. Seriously? That's all? Wow. Did not expect that. Um... Huh. Well, there's some... There's a level 10 quest out here. Which we'll describe that in a minute. Um, it doesn't show the quests in Lower Lanoska. Okay. Well, I know what we need to do. And then he's still got his level... Wait. Oh, we already did the level 20 hunting log. Okay. So cool. At least we don't have to fucking worry about that anymore. Let's zoom! That was a noise. 
Hmm. Well, since we're doing um, uh, sub sub stories, <laughs> okay now. And since we're doing side quests go over the bridge, um, what I may do is I may just go to Western Lanoska and start doing quests there too. <clears throat> and then go to southern and eastern Gridania and, um... Oh, no! We gotta do the Thanalan stuff. Fuck, I totally forgot about that. Because everything else is 20 up. The only things that aren't are the, um... Thaumaturge, Pugilist, Gladiator, Alchemist, Weaver, Goldsmith, and Miner. The Descent. So basically what happened is the Earth cracked. And the upper crack and the lower crack are held together by a bunch of ramps and stairs. And I mean, it's a good 50 fucking feet. And then they're separated, too. So there's this fucking... this whole scaffolding project. Megalo crab. Giant crab. I'm betting we'll have to kill some of those. But yeah, considering the the only class that isn't 20 is the rogue, we're going to keep doing the rogue. Okay. Ladovka? She's a docky. Oh, for the love of Lin Lane. Not again. The leather's ripped to bloody shreds. Hmm, no, there's not a ride with me, breaches your cheeky sod. It's the megalo crabs. They've been at the balloon envelopes I left out to dry on the rocks. These hell spawn snippers think they found a squid or something and set to nibbling. Less balloons in the air means less cargo getting lifted, and that don't sit too well with me. You look like quick, you look for a quick job. How about you crack a few shells before you head off on your way? If you put down five or so, the buggers out ought to do it for now. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say, mum. Off we fuck. It's nighttime. That makes me sad. Anyway. <clears throat> I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Yeah! Like with the last one. All we've gotten for fucking upgrades is, uh. Um. Um. Heals and stuff. No extra attacks yet. Oh, yeah, and a dick kick. We've gotten a dick kick. We got that on our warrior, too. <clears throat> I hate fates. That was the last one. And when I say there's a big crab, it's a big crab. It's like double our height. And Four times our wit. <clears throat> See, what I should do tomorrow is do a uh, dungeon as a rogue. I'll probably get up to level 20. You take care of them snippers? Good bloody riddance. Nice work there, lad. Still, it won't be long before a new crew of crabs come sliding in to reclaim the territory, and our loads just keep getting heavier with all the rebuilding going on. If I didn't want to be buried under a mountain of crates, I'd best think of a more lasting solution to this snipper problem. Really? That's it? Okay. Yep, whatever. So there is a way to Eastern Lanoska and Western Lanoska. Now, I've been to Western Lanoska a fair few times to level up my, uh, my Arcanist. So I will discover Eastern Lanoska real quick. We just go to the east on this path. God, I can't wait to unlock, uh, mounts.
That'll make this move a bit quicker. Although, frankly, what I need to do is unlock the, uh... Ooh, is my fruit ready? No, it's not! I'm having fruit for dinner. I'm having peaches and... Uh, pineapple. But they're frozen. They're not thawed yet. Once they are, I'll pause the video and have my dinner real quick. Ooh! Wine port and, uh... And Costa del Sol. It's Costa del Sol you can get to, just um, from Limsa. <clears throat> but Wineport's a bit more of a schlep unless you go through the middle of Nazca. So Wineport is obviously a winery. It's got the usual white walls, and then it's got... Um, it's In the back, it's got a bunch of um, vintners. Yeah. And that is a place we will have to deal with later. When do I get my next attack? I want to fucking know. Mug. Trick attack. Um, Alien Edge, and then Death Blossom. Oh, cool, we get an uh, AoE. Ah, I was that close. That's only a little bit to the left. So we'll get event. We'll get abilities eventually for the rogue. <clears throat> but until we do, it's time to drink coffee and run our ass to Western Lanoska. Do some swift perch, which is a small farm, and ale port, which is a, you know, port. Do some of those quests. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fuck. <clears throat> so what's funny is, um... Our, our main quest... Our Scion of the Seventh Dawn quest is, I believe, like a level 15 or so quest, and almost all of our, well, all of our classes are above that. <laughs> yeah, you'll be a bit, we'll, we'll always be over leveled. Fuck it, you know. Hey, it just means we'll gain, um, we'll get through the quests faster, right? So let's go to Swift Perch real quick. See by getting some quests here. There might not actually be quests here. Wow. There aren't any quests here. That kind of sucks. Uh, we need to repair our gear. It's been a while. So let's knock that out really quick. I'm both kind of surprised and extremely happy that there aren't that many quests, because I thought there was going to be just a shit ton of these damn things, because in Aleport there's one, two, three quests, and then there should be some in Camp Skull Valley too eventually, which is a little ways up. Anyway, let's grab a Chocobo Keep real quick and go to Aleport. And while we do that, I will... Check my various social media. Ooh, that could be interesting. This woman was always a dog person, then she brings on the blind cat. That could definitely be interesting. Asmongold caught his dad watching Amaranth. I don't even know who Amaranth is, but it shows this woman with very large breasts in a bra. I wonder why his dad got into that. Hmm. I must plunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull that up for later. 
I'll watch that while I'm eating my fruit. <clears throat> there we go. So Aleport is big old walls, big old ships, big old port of call. It makes me wonder um, how few quests there are going to be in Ulda as well. Not that that makes me sad or anything. The first stars flash their pale bellies in the depth of the sky and held folk the sailors in a mood to yarn. Oh, hey, adventure, my tub sails soon and I have to have me a little something for the journey. The dust bats are flying. Think yourself lightsome enough to bring me five wings? Four won't do and six is no good, mind you. Welcome, you are to keep any surfeits as long as you know what to do with them. You bring me the wings? That's the only issue I have with Limsa, is it's a bitch to understand what these fucking people are saying sometimes. It's not ready yet. Hurry up and defrost, I'm fucking hungry. Hmm, that reminds me. Hang on. Alright, I'm back. <clears throat> I ate my dinner. So that's done. So this guy is a dark-skinned Rogadin. <clears throat> you look like an adventurer who gets around. May have to notice the corals and jackals of each other's throats of late. I've never seen anything quite like it, and the bloodshed only worsens by the day. If this continues, I dare say one of these groups will wipe out the other before long. Now, uh, bears mentioning this species of coral isn't native to Vilbrand. By right, they shouldn't even be here. Nay, I believe they were smuggled. I know of a merchant who may have a hand in these dealings. Her name is Rakontai, and after some probing, I've come to believe that she's somehow involved. I wouldn't question. I would question her myself, but she's like to flee at the first sight of yellow. That's where you come in. I need you to speak with her and learn all you can. Take a look around. She's bound to be nearby. And there she is. A Bright pink-haired, pale pink-haired, dark-skinned Rogadin. What's this? So they sent you to do their dirty work? Well, you'll never take me alive. Never! Oh, uh, yeah. So now we gotta go down the dock, which is not wood, but stone. <clears throat> so that's nice. <coughs> Damn lungs. Ooh, a thuggish cell sword. I will not be beaten by the likes of you. Ooh, after this I'm gonna have to pause again. Down you go. Please don't hurt me. I didn't do nothing wrong. I smelled in the corals for breeding like you asked. But that's it. I ain't the one sending the jackals into a frenzy, I swear. Hey, the yellow jacket sent you not no pirates? Why the hell didn't you say so earlier? Ugh, way well, you caught me. I'm behind the corals in the airport. Those good for nothing pirates had me breed jackals from too. With the right training, they make for nasty watchdogs and the like. But the pirates wanted more, and that's why they asked me for the corals. If they did, I smuggled them in, but the pirates took them before I could finish the job. Suppose they didn't want to wait for the breeding. But the buggers let them escape. Now they have jackals on the loose trying to get rid of the corals and clean up their mess. I'm the victim as well, you know. Aye, they paid good coin for the animals, but now they got folk chasing after me. Wanting to cover the tracks, I'm sure. You hurry and tell those yellow jackets I ain't to blame, you hear? Yeah. Fuck. Anyway, I'll be right back again. Alright, I'm back again. God damn. Chip wanted me to take him out. Fuck! This is a cursed video. All these fucking breaks. Pain in my ass. <coughs> also, my allergies are horrible today. <coughs> Ah, oh, you're back. What can you tell me of Rakanta's dealing? She claims to be a victim as well. <laughs> it was her greed that brought the corals to Vilbrand, and she's sorely mistaken. I think the yellow jackets will turn a blind eye. Mark my words, she will be held accountable. At any rate, we now know why the corals and jackals are trying to tear each other to shreds. The pirates have been quite careful not to leave any clues, but we've managed to capture Rakanta's assailants. They're being questioned as we speak, and it won't be long before we track down the pirates. Don't worry, friend. The Yellow Jackets will see them brought to justice. In the meantime, there's still the matter of Rakantai and the beasts running amok in the field. I shudder to think of what happened. 
what may happen should the jackals and corals continue fighting for much longer. I have a plan, but your assistance is essential to its success. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Yeah, I gained a level. Raconta has admitted to breeding jackals for pirates, but I fear she may be concealing more to be smuggled elsewhere. I bid you speak with her once more to prove my suspicions. If she wishes to play the role of victim, perhaps this time she'll be more forthcoming with information. Tell her that although we cannot grant her impunity, her cooperation will ensure a lighter sentencing. Now then, we need to do something about the corals running wild in Vilbrand. Jackals have greatly reduced their number, but the presence of corals will upset the balance of predation in Aleport. Given time, they will establish a breeding population, perhaps even prey upon more than just animals. A large number of merchants, sailors, and travelers pass through Aleport daily, meaning a great many people will be at risk unless we stop the corals here and there. Much as it pains me to say this, they must be done away with. I like it no more than you, but we yellow jackets must put the safety of the people above all else. Reports indicate the corals were last sighted somewhere in Skull Valley. When you're ready, pray seek them out and do what need be done. And then there is a quest up here, too. Uh, the yellow dragons want to know if I'm hiding any more jackals. Ugh, fine, I'll come clean if it means preserving me liberty. All the jackals are long gone, but there's a wolf pup I was looking after not too far from here. Jackals are easy to come by in the airport, but wolves, you can be sure folk will pay good money for them. With the yellow jackets breathing down my neck a little late, though, I haven't had a time to care for them. The poor thing's probably too weak from hunger to move. I'll tell you where I hit him, but if you want to take him, best move now. What will the corals run wild? Killing the jackals. Uh, killing the pirates, jackals, and all. It won't be long before they start snooping around for more animals to train. I have to warn you, though, he may be a pup, but he'll more likely make a meal at anyone who gets close to him. Throw one over his stomach with this here succulent bone. If that ain't enough, try rubbing his belly to soothe him. He'd be embedded, be following you everywhere. Out the critter in Quarterstone. Hurry up before the pirates find him. Real fucking caring, bitch. This one is Sonora. She is a black haired kitty. Private Sonora needs your help in the defense of Aleport. Hark, enemy in the sky. Pull yourself together, Private. You've been trained for this. Even if the only action you've ever seen has been street fights, tavern brawls, and fisticuffs over who cheated at checkers. First things first, I must ready the cannon. Now to walk myself through the steps. I'm right. Make sure you are with Sucker. For arming a cannon is no swift matter. So far, so good. I'll just get Kamel and... Kamel! That girl always knew where to be found when she's needed. Fine. Sarge always said to improvise. You over there, adventure. Limsa... Lamenza has need of your service. Show to slow down the enemy while I arm the cannon. I'll be ready ere the fifth carcass is cold, I promise you. Okay... This bitch is crazy. Let's go for a wee dash. Must kill more puck hatchlings. Which are winged lizards. Yeah, winged geckos. Just about. Big old gecko heads. Stabbed that one in the buttocks. We dusky bats. Hey, it's been like two whole in-game days since I've managed to get anything done because of the fucking. 
Ugh, all the interruptions, and now it's the night time again. Hey, it's a baby coral. And a dead mother. And scurvy dogs. Mew Mew. So now we pick up the not cat. The baby coral looks at you affectionately. Good for it. Ooh, more desk bats. Grab that one, and then we'll grab this last puck out thing. Definitely know that I needed the pineapple. Because I'm not quite as tired as I was. Although now that I've been outside again, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, my stream is going to be terrible tonight. So you go to Quarterstone, which are these bombed out buildings. <clears throat> we give him the bone. And then we soothe him. I love it. We just raise our hands. Calm down. <laughs> sniff, sniff. level the guild is. Ooh, two and a third. Oop. First we gotta give the bat wings to the guy. Keep your voice down. Nobody's business but ours, isn't it? You got what I asked for? Them's the ones, and that's as pretty a job as I've seen. Know your way around battle, eh? Well, that's just fine, thank you. Why? We sailors can be a superstitious law, you know? Some of the crew might look at me odd, like for carrying back parts when the winds John died. The water casks are dry. It's odd one day, overboard the next. What? No superstition about that. The Dusker's been my luck since I was a boy. Survived more than two weeks once on three bats I caught trapped at the top of an abandoned watchtower. Even ate a wing off one before I made up my mind to climb down the wall. This journey will be sailing past the Isles of Umber, and I can feel the sea honing those reefs. 
The lights at Pharaoh's Sirius burn dim since the calamity. I've always found it a mite too much like the old watchtower for comfort. I ain't been that affrighted boy for a long time. Ill used, starved, and more than half matted, inching down that sandstone wall and handholds no bigger than a fingertip. But I'll have me five bat wings on every journey, just the same as that boy had. Okay. The bashful air ill suits a Rogadin, but Aldfote has nevertheless wrung the sheepishness like an incommodious singlet. Ahoy, Burkai. It couldn't slip my mind last time, but I have another thing I ask of you. My bearings are all lively on the water, but on land, well, I'm what you land numbers call at sea. Got a letter needs delivering, and you're in the man for it. I went ashore on some rock and the voyage in, and a faded petticoat comes up to me. Says she's got a daughter in Camp Skull Valley, which she hadn't seen in years. Had tears in her eyes. Pretty eyes, too, for a woman past her child in years. She must have been a real beauty in her day. Always had a soft spot for tawny eyes, mayhaps because the sea is a green-eyed virago, uh, virago, and the skies her sisters have eyes blue and red, gray and black. Well, this daughter of hers goes by Wiltsus. You'll take the letter to her? What the fuck? A sealed missive addressed to Maelstrom Sergeant Wiltsus. Oh shit, I know what I did wrong. Hang on. Alright, that was a short break. That was a short break indeed. So let's go to the uh, yellow jacket. I heard from Mercanta you went looking for that starved pup in Quarterstone. Do you have any luck? Ah, so this is the Papa Conte has been hiding. Well done. She was here not long ago, as a matter of fact. It seems she's willing to cooperate with the authorities and help set things right. But that's not all, friend. While you were searching for this pup, a group of pirates related to the investigation was taken into custody. We couldn't have done it without your help. The ringleader has yet to be found, but perhaps now Aleport can enjoy a moment of respite. All that remains is what to do with this pup. He seems to have taken a liking to you. Hmm, perhaps it would be best if you looked after him. It's a small little wolf puppy with a bandana. Red bandana around his little neck. There's simply no room for him at headquarters, and letting him wander around on his own is out of the question. I realize how sudden this is, but please give him a good home. Welcome back, adventurer. How did you fare against the corals in Skull Valley? I see, so this baby coral is all that remains. It is truly a shame it came to this. Most of the jackals died fighting against corals, but it would seem you slew the pirate's last litter while saving this one. Let us at least take solace in the knowing the bloodshed has ended. There's a good bit of news there's a bit of good news to be had, however. I received word yeah yeah. And to investigate to instigate such carnage without scruple, the true animals in this case have been placed behind bars. With any luck, their leaders and remaining members will join them shortly. And it's a kitten with a little bell around its neck. It kind of it has spots like a leopard and a black tail. But what to do with this baby coral? He seems quite fond of you, almost as if you were his father. Hmm, the yellow jackets are not fit to care for a coral, especially when fully grown. We simply cannot release him back into the wild. I suppose there's only one option. Friend, I leave this baby coral in your capable hands. I'm sure you'll do what's best for him. Yeah, I'll throw him in the fucking river because cat's stuck. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, and then we want to go to our Winions. We have many Winions. But currently, the Winion we will use is the Wolf Pup. And we will put him hither. So now we have a little wolf pup um, following us around. You can even hear him. Which I think is kind of cool. He's our little buddy. I just wish I was so fucking tired. What the hell is wrong with me? Oi, oi. Now we'll finish Limsa and do Old Da next time. Alright, Snyro. 
Ready to fire. I keep my promises, Ventures, and you keep your skills well honed, I see. A moment. I just received a dispatch. What? They weren't attacking Alport? Well, that's... What? We're not important enough? They were just babies. Well, you'd have to be duller than a box of hair to fly at, fire at a cannon position. To fly at a cannon position. Time for me what they are. I suppose all the, all's well that ends well, but I must admit I was looking forward to putting my train to real use. I didn't draw the, join the maelstrom to break up to break up brawls, you know, and now I shall have to clean the cannon. Storm Private Sanairo smells of salt, malt, and bad ideas, and appears intent on securing your services. Well, I made a right mess of things the other day. Commander Fal Falcabrita said she'd dock my pay if I pulled something like that again. At least I didn't get tossed in the brig like Kamel. I've been very cher I've been very cherry since, you can be certain of that. I've little enough coin in as is as is in the papers to slick my thirst with, but this time I there's a real attack on Aleport, and off I go to arm the cannon. <clears throat> Save Aleport from those blood baths on four legs, and we'll see what the commander has to say about my pay then. Adventure, for Aleport and glory, slow down the horde. I'm certain to be ready by the time you slaughter five. Edge moles. This bitch is crazy. Legitimately 100% crazy. And I went the wrong way. Tylenol and ibuprofen tonight if my knee is going to keep doing this shit. Leg. I mean, I'm glad I'm. I'm glad I decided to take the day off today from walking. But fuck, my leg is not letting me forget it. Stupid locked up knee. <sighs> okay. Scenario. Well, Slade, or do I mean slain? I shall need to know these things if I'm to be officer. We've got the powder, the ball loaded, and primed now for the slow match. Hark a dispatch. Stand down forthwith, not again, but surely these adamantoirs are clear and present. Hedge moles, you're certain? Well, that's like an adamantoir, except, uh, weak and not at all dangerous. Why, oh why, perhaps I've been cursed by some enemy. Not very likely for a mere storm private second class or no. Now the commander will dock my pay and leave my whistle dry as dust. Well, my good man, it is called Aleport. I've spent a deal of time admiring the undersides of many a tavern tail. I can, table, I can tell you that. What? It could be that my humors are out of bounds from a surfeit of ale, and thus I see it now. There is excess blood which has overfed my mar martial zeal. Or Kai, your learned ways have shown me the light. Much thanks. I go now to receive a leeching. A wan and listless Snyro has you for a new request. The first that does not involve slaying half a dozen beasts. Greetings, Burkai. Will you deliver this in my stead to Camp Spill Valley? It's er, my report to Commander Falkbrida. I was as plain spoken as I could be, and I was going to report in person, but for some reason I barely the strength to visit the barber for leechings, let alone to make the trip to Skull Valley. I don't suppose I'd be spared to dock and pay. You don't think they clap me in the brig, do you? Well, now I want to go to the brig and see what the fuck that's about. I must admit, I'm curious. Is 
there no brig here? Oh, here we go. Hey, there's nobody in this brig. Malza Gamalza. This is where we detain pirates and smugglers and other such rogues till we decide what to do with them. See to it if you do not, which has earned you a place in here. This is the hole under the mountain with a fucking grating over it. Wait. God, that jump animation is goofy. His hands look like he's fucking bowing. <laughs> So it's a fort with walls, an inner, an inner building, and ramparts and everything. Uh, Falfrida. You're not Falfrida. You're Falfrida. A, uh, she's a woman, um, a Roganin woman with a black pirate hat with a blue um, feather in it, and then a red and black outfit with white trim. Ah, an adventurer, and one whose name rings a bell. You have been in service to the Maelstrom right here. What brings you to Skull Valley? A periodic account of happenings in and around the hamlet of Aleport. After recent events, one might assume this particular report will read more akin to a letter of apology. A report from Private Snyro. It does her little credit that she did not make the trip herself. Stay while I peruse this. Hmm. She does not pre prevaric prevaricate, at least, that one. Unfortunate how she's gone to rack and ruin since she was posted to Aleport. She was among the first in her shoal to be promoted to second class yet. Now, do you know what a soldier's greatest enemy is, Burkai? Boredom. I suspect Sinairo has played the craven in fighting this foe. I shall order the paymaster to dock her pay, but I'll not sign a censor. If she can stay out of the taverns and learn to keep herself busy, she may yet earn her salt. Tarry a while, Burkai. It will not be said that an adventurer came to Camp Skull Valley and left without honest pay for honest work. We have a problem that other encampments may well find enviable. The dodos are so plentiful they even nest within the barracks. The nest must be removed forthwith before it draws beasts dangerous to men as well as birds. So we go to the back here. And there's Wiltswiss. Greetings, adventurer. They said you were looking for me. A letter from Mama. I haven't heard from her in so long. She never answered my letters. No stay, for I'll have a reply to send. What the? Oh, that stone-hearted, grasping hag. Wouldn't let me take so much as a hunk of dried fish when I left the island. Now she wants gill? That, that succubus. You think me cold? Well, fie on what you think. I wanted to. I wanted something better than tilling salty fields and spilling small fry out, on, out of the nets, and occasionally taking a passing sailor into my bed for more of the same. She'll receive no reply from me. Thank you for your service, and good day to you. It is a cool and collected Sergeant Wiltswiss who seeks an obliger today rather than the heart sore fire eater of the other day. Weapons and armor in order. Saltpeter in armor. Basic provisions all in order. Poisons. Oh, the vial's near gone. Uh, adventure. Burkai, was it? Mayhap we can let bile your yons be bygones. You are skilled in wrangling beasts, I fear. I hear, and I have a need of pelican poison. The poison can be readily gathered, gathered from pelicans in the area, but I must continue my duties here. Are you so minded to undertake the task? these dodo nests. Oh, there it is. Couple of angry dodos. They burped at me. It's 
now to go kill the pelicans. Which are not actual pelicans, but these lizardy things. These large lizardy things with waddles and fringes and shit. So they look like if a lizard and a and a and a bird had a baby. They do not look a damn thing like pelicans though. It's a, it's a, uh, it's an attack to be used when you're hidden. Cool. Welcome to Return Adventure. Have you what I asked for? Ah, so you're not st stinting and filling the vials. Last adventure returned with each barely half full and had the cheek to demand full payment. I had a low opinion of adventures since, but... You know of the you know of our past with the kobolds, but they are not the foe we fight today. Nay, all our guns are trained on the fishbacks. Such a wee thing, this vial, but this too is a gun. So susceptible to Sahagan art of pelican poison that even the rawest recruit may, with a poison tipped arrow, find herself a fisher of beastmen. There was a settlement here once, near Halfstone. Then the primal leviathan rose and the Sahagan invaded. The work of generations was undone in a season and whole families perished. I never knew the Halfstone settlement, but I believe it to be a home worth fighting for. And so we fight with steel, fire, and even poison to reclaim that which is ours. Quite thawed towards you after a wintry start, Wiltz was practically humming as she devises a new task for you to undertake. Camp Skull Valley was built to hold against attacks from the sea. To the north and south lie narrow channels, each with a tide gate, each to hold, or with a tide gate each to hold the Sahagan at bay. Will you deliver a bottle of lowland wine to the captains of the north and south tide gate? Call it a small privilege of the quartermaster. Please take the, the first bottle. The captains throw. Thralret of South Tide Gate. So now they got us going to the Tide Gate. Gates. Swiftly done. They do say where a soldier dallies an adventurer hurries. Peaceful as it may seem now, this encampment was built to ward against the kobolds of a Gamoro. To the north, we do not forget our purpose, you need only look to our name. The valley floor was once lined with the skull of cobble the kobolds we slew, so that no invader might reach its southern mouth and the settlements beyond without treading on death with every step. Nowadays, it seems we're in danger of treading on dodo eggs at every turn, or the adders that feast them. Um, the dodos brought by settlers now run feral and keep us at meat, eggs, and headache. How do I compare? That one's that. It's finally daytime. Killer mantises. The mantises are mantises, except their claws are much bigger and they themselves are half again as tall as we are. But we can't avoid them, so we will avoid them. He's a captain. Hell, yeah, adventure will bring you to South Tide Gate. 
A bottle of Lowland from Sergeant Wolfsworth. Now, isn't that something? And isn't she something? Crispy, full-bodied is my guess. You know, didn't think I had a chance with a woman like that, but it looks like she's sweet on me. Always was popular with the fair sex, if I do say so myself. I have a brother. You heard about that? He's captain of the North Tide Gate. Like his peas in the pod, they say, but they never pop those peas out of the pod, if you take my meaning. Wolfsworth, Wolfsworth. Got away around about her, she does. Cool as spray, but there's fire there, and welcome she is to show me the light and scorch off every stitch between the two of us. Wow, that's creepy. Uh -huh. I need to sort. This shit needs to go. Well, I guess I'll keep the high potions. I might need those. But ethers and antidotes I do not need. There we go. We're now up to 175,000. So now we gotta go across the Tide Gate, across Skull Valley, to, uh, to the northern. Oh, there you are. Did Captain um, Thrall re receive it well? The other bottle is for Captain Nortman. I should have mentioned, they're brothers in blood as well as arms. You'd think them closer for it, but the bickering is well nigh constant. So now we go up north. Ooh, we get to go under a, a hill that's been blasted out. The funny thing is, they, they're brothers and they look like it. They look the same. Hold adventure. North Tide Gate is no place for idlers. Wiltswiss, the quartermaster, that mousy looking girl. Still, she has excellent taste in wine. It must be a mind reader, for I, have a, for I have a supper of ocean cloud waiting that wants nothing more than a glass of lowland vintage. So, sent you over with a bottle just for me, huh? What? Sent one to that back berth in South Tide Gate, too? Oh, you know what he's gonna think now that she's his for the taking. It's strutting. Well, he's got another thing. Think coming. Ah, misspelling. Misunderstanding an innocent kindness like that. She's a quartermaster. Doesn't he know this is a professional interest? The goatish fool. I won't have him bothering that lovely girl. Who's worse, the horn dog or the simp? You be the judge. Who the fuck are you? Learned men write that he who is who is wroth feels not the morning sun. Hell. Airloaf seems to insensible to all but his pressing need for your service. Where is Rowan? I told that barnacle the engineers were letting us take the new cannon out for a test. Twelve no when the mood will next strike those hugger muggers. Probably over at the crypt again. Morbid, I call it. Like a, I like a good wallow now and then, but he broods on dead folk he didn't even know. You go fetch him. I'd be liable to profane the lich yard by beating him around his thick head with that big stone hourglass. There I go again, blaspheming the keeper. Not that I much cared for that Ponzi, and that's probably another bit of abominating. Here, take these flowers. Romans at the Founder's Crypt. Give them the, pr give them the pretties for the dead. That'll clear them the slight with the gods. <laughs> yep, he's at the Boneyard. Fucking kill him, man. Just get out of here. Rest in peace of the Twelve, Argamar. Ah, oh, you bring flowers. Come, no need to be shy. There's plenty of space. Small in life, he who sleeps here is large in death. So we lay flowers on this big-ass gravestone. 
You'd never know now there was a hamlet here, would you? Half stone. was called, built in the sweat of near ten score brows, and put to the Sahagan's torch. The, fetler, the settlers fought, aye, and how? Were there not a trained soldier among them? Argamar was one of those, a farmer by trade. He stayed behind to cover the final retreat, asking for as many arrows as could be spared. Then he took off his boots and gave them to another, saying he wasn't for where he was he wasn't far where he was going, and here he lies now. Time was I'd be hard pressed to imagine doing what he did. You don't hold fast to much in a privateer's life. No cap no pri pirate captain's going down with her ship, and any captain who looks to loyalty more than gold is liable to have his throat slit. But now I gotta be better than that, don't I? I gotta be more like um Argamar. Adventure, are you? Seems a shame for you to come all this way without more to show for it. How about a bit of Vodkin hunting? There's a fair few killer mantises around on account of hatchling we missed. The commander sent out hunting parties and collected ten and six heads. There's no more than twenty in a clutch. Think you can handle the last four? Yes, I suppose I better had. It's a jumping slash. That's kind of boring. Why does everything have extra spinning as a rogue? That makes no sense. Damn, that's got a long fucking cooldown for this trick attack. Nasty critters, those killer manises. I'm sure Argamar wouldn't have wanted anyone dying near his resting place. Good hunting adventure. See how the high, high the sun climbs? It's time I return to the gate. Um, Elrof said we'd be testing a new cannon. I'd like to blow himself to bits without me about. You can collect your pay from Commander Falkbrita at Camp Skull Valley. Be well, adventure. The twelve go with you. These people are very odd. Ah, Burkai, you've become a familiar face around these parts. What brings you here today? The rest of the killer menaces? Well done. And I must commend com that, uh, Commander or Sergeant R Rowan for his quick thinking. Give thanks to the camp. Sometimes I fear we will lose the war against those hog and for having to deal with pests and beasts. And the commander of Skull Valley herself wants a word with a humble adventurer before he takes the road. All indications are that something unusual is left. I hear you're leaving us, Kai. News travels fast in an encampment. Mayhap you can assist us one last time. I have a dispatch here from Maelstrom Command, from, Com from Commodore Rayner of the Yellow Jackets. We've been investigating the Satasha Sea Grotto on their orders, but it seems they've taken on an adventure of excellent repute and pleasing men, or the Commodore writes to complete the work. Now, if you, yes? Ha, ah, that is you, this is you, as he speaks of. Of course. Well, Camp Skull Valley would be glad to add to the burnish of your repute. You've carried out your commissions admirably well. Commodore Rayner and many others in command are of the same mind as I that we've spread our forces too thin with these tasks, and I am all too happy to withdraw our men from the caves, truth be told. Chief Sergeant Cat Gustel is the ranking officer of Satasha Sigra. Um, locate him and report to him that his mission is complete and he is ordered to return back to Scroll Valley.
I'm a man of repute. Ugh, I'm being chased by pelicans. <clears throat> Oh, Jesus, Mary, Mother of God, am I tired? Only seven. I should not be this tired. It's a human. Tale adventure. Do you mean to enter the Satoshi Seed Route? I would advise against it. You'll likely perish in this labyrinthine depth. Trust me, were it not for sheer strength of will, I'd not be standing here. What am I doing out here, you ask? This is a comely spot for stargazing, I find. Far better than the labyrinthine death, depth of the cave, friend. In there, none shall hear your screams, particularly since everybody else has been reassigned. Me as well, you say? But camp, back to Camp Skull Valley and away from the labyrinthine depth of that hellhole? Most excellent. I have my principles and with willingly have sacrificed my life for the mission, but I am not grieved to cede that prospect to you and bid, the grot, and bid this grot good day. My place is at a fort or on the battlefield, not crawling around in a dark cave with coils of rope and sheaves of paper, fearing I shall never see daylight again. I warn you, friend, there is much danger in those depths. It is, what is the word? Labyrinthine, I tell you. Okay. And now we are done with the west. So now we will pop down to the Morby Dry Docks. And see what quests avail us there. I'll be right back. All right. So now we're at the Morabi Dry Docks. There are, are a lot of quests. Can we do any of them? Uh, let's see. Level 13, level 12. Whoops, I guess we should have done this one first. Um, Forbidden Island. All right, there's all kinds of quests. And then there's the leaves of Morabi. Um, I'm going to pause and get those done real quick. There we go. Leaves all done. Let's do quests. The reason I don't do the leaves is because they are incredibly boring. They don't even have the interesting quest texts. Oh. Fuck! <coughs> Stupid back. Uh, Wafufu. Poor Wafufu's food cart is light a few lunches, and she needs help locating the lost ones. Oh, woe is me! I seem to have gone and misplaced four of my packed lunches. Whatever am I to do? I can hear Hotburn's belly grumble from all the way over here. I'm certain I made enough for everyone. So it must be I either dropped a few or gave some to the wrong fellows. Oh, did you hear that? It was Hotburn's belly again. He does not look at all pleased, does he? I must stay with my cart, but if you could search the dry docks and see if you can, cannot find those lunches, I would be extremely grateful. I might even whip something together, uh, something together, uh, I might even whip together something special for you. Ah, did you hear, you see that? Hotburn just gave me the evil eye. If those lunches don't turn up soon, I'm afraid he'll come over here and eat me. Obviously a Lollifel. Here's a forge worker. Waffle of be needing one of her lunches back, you say? Here I was beginning to think the lass had eyes for me. Not that she's me tight, mind you. I like my woman a few hands taller and a few pounds heavier and a few shades bluer if you catch my drift. I wouldn't have minded the extra meal, though. A man can work a quite a craving when he's been pounding, stretching, and shaping sheets of iron all day. And she dropped one. I thought I'd upgraded that. So now we go up on the ramparts. She dropped another one. And then at the very far end... <clears throat> Sigh, don't tell me. You came to collect my lunch. I can see it in them accusing eyes of yours. Sure, I knew right well that none of them lunches were meant for me. What would today be my day off and all? But I never thought little Waffafu would miss just one. If I give back the lunch, will you promise me not to? No, will you promise not to mention it was I who took it? I don't want the last to think I was trying to swindle her, though that's sort of what I was trying to do. But she doesn't have to know that now, does she? Right then, carry on. 
fucking dipshit. Please tell me you found the lunches. I swear out burn has shifted several paces closer since you departed. One, two, three, four. You did it. You found all the missing lunches. Now perhaps I can rest in peace knowing that Otburn won't be indulging in his cannibalistic fantasies, at least for the day. Lady, what is your fucking problem? Turn the shit down. Why is everyone so high strung in this goddamn city? Ooh, he's a swarthy looking lad. Now, Deacon Vimelli's shipwright. Hezkezel needs help heating his rivets. When it comes to rivet, and you can search the realm over, but you won't find none better than Hezkezel. Ten score rivets a bell. I drive twice that if I'm not in the cups. The key to driving rivets proper like is how hot you can get the buggers. The hotter the rivet, the stronger the bond shall make with the steel plate. Problem being, was I to heat me rivets in the forge, they'd be cold as a dead horse crotch by the time I hauled them back to the victory. That is an image! In point of fact, I'm going to take a screenshot and send it to people. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This is why I use the white hot cores of lightning sprites, but as you can see, my supplies run in a tad low. If it ain't too much trouble, would you be so kind as to fetch me some? You look at you could take a whole pack of sprites with one hand tied behind your arse. Again, that is an image. Why is everyone in all these cities so fucking crazy? Uh, Yulgi Honalgi. He has gray hair and a ponytail. And he has a lullabell. I'm looking for a strapping young adventure good with his numbers to help tally our remaining supply of planks and logs, but I suppose you'll have to do. Now that work on the victory is nearing completion, I need one final count on the lumber we have so I can determine if we'll need more. I already have Raisin Malzin and Remo Falino started on the tally, so speak with them and see what they've found. Then bring me back the exact numbers of quarter deck logs and forecastle planks remaining on site. Understood? Why don't you fucking do it? Count logs. Just finished some account of the cedar masts and yard master ain't gonna like what I have to tell him. What, you'll tell him for me? Well, be my guest then, lad. Victory being as big as she is, will be outfitted with three full-size masts and two smaller masts. Each mast will have its own set of four to five spars or cross masts from, where the sail, from which the sails hang. One need not be a scholarly from... Uh, Malvin's Gate to know that's a hell, whole hell's of worth of lumber. And so just how many mass-worthy logs did I count here? Four. Not four hundred, not four square, not even fourteen. One, two, three, four. And you can take that to the yard master, but don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Two hundred oak birthing plants. Not one more, not one leg. Less. I counted them twice, then I counted them thrice more just for good measure. We may be in trouble, though, if them shipwrights need any more than what you see before you. Fires of the Calamity claim most of the trees in the old oak wood, and what of those that remained, you ask why? We chopped down the rest to help build the victory. Let's go to fucking Gridania. Oh, for... So now we gotta actually go to the planks and count them all ourselves. I trust you had enough fingers to help you through the talons. Tell me, what'd you find? Hmm, those are grim numbers indeed. The calamity may just be a fading memory, but it seems we're still far from truly healing. As a salt-blooded laments, and it pains me to say it, but we may have to turn to them tree folk in Gridania to finish the victory on time. God fucking damn it. Why does Moraby have to be such a confusing place? There are walls amid between walls and shit. Mimi Doa, I remember you. Now Deacon Vimelli's veteran shipwright, Mimi Doa, has seek someone to travel to Ocean's Torch on his stead. What do you say? Another initiate, eh? Initiate, you say? Getting lots of initiates these days. A lot of initiates. What day did you say it was? Now I reckon this initiate's here looking for work. Is it work you seek, eh? 
Well, you need not fret, as I just happen to have a task that needs ten men. A dear friend of mine, Ross and something or such, is holed up in the lighthouse on this side of the grip. Used to be I'd visit the lad once a sun night to see how he was faring, but my legs just ain't the same since the gout gone and grabbed hold of him. Oh, poor old bastard. He is an old bastard. I'd be grateful if you could check up on the candle keeping me stay at home. Don't be forgetting to bring four curved jackal things. Tell him they're for Mimi Doe. He'll understand. God, man, don't let you do too much. So out we go, looking for lightning sprites. Say, there's one. Mountain. I'm going up this fucking mountain. I'm going to start stabbing these jackals. Just zippity zoop on down to the lighthouse, and that is a ways. So we go down the hill, then we go up the hill. We go down the hill, then we go up the hill. A perpetual state of going down and up hills. So that's us. We are the hill movers, that's what we do. Here's a level 50 bat. They'll fucking kill us. a fisherman. I can get right lonesome up here all alone with not but the wind's chill to keep me in company. Some days I carve jackal things to help me clear help clear me head of the voices. The voices call me right back to the great blue. What's this? Mimi Doa sent you, did he? Well you tell the old man that he didn't waste his last few sons in this realm worrying about poor about poor Ross now. Ross and today. I'll carry on as I always have in the service of the sailors alone until the day I die. Shake's head. Whilst the carvings help keep me head clear, a bit of company would ease the solitude. Truth is, with each turn of the sun, I creep ever closer to the brink of madness. All day and night, I dream of someone who might rescue me from this prison. Someone broad and hale, with skin the color of the sea, and eyes with a sight keen like a maelstrom. Someone like Gimthoda. I have been enchanted by her sweet magic since I first saw her, a young lass from the Morby Dry Docks on patrol of the God's Grip. She smiled at me, but I was too head up inside by fear to meet her gaze. And now, since her promotion to head watch, she'll be, she can't be bothered to make the climb. I would tell her how it is I feel, but my duty my duty to the sailors... Wait, might might be you could tell her for me. I'll make it worth your while. You could take her a nice Lanoskin lily bell. You think she'd like that? Aye, I reckon she'd like that. Ain't met a woman who didn't like flowers. Why are there so many fucking sim simps in this 
town. Jesus Christ. Down the hill we go. Hey, it's sunset. Um, no, I did my laundry recently. Okay, you don't want me to throw your shorts in or anything? Yeah. That's so easy to bring. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I've got a light load this week, so I can use the rest of the room off the too. Alright. Thank you. No when you opened the door. Oh. Little Let me guess, he's on the bed? He's, he's on, on his little bed. He's on his, uh... Yes, he's a good boy. I'm so glad that that worked out. He's a good boy. I love that it took him long enough. We That's kept it for him initially, and he didn't want to go upstairs. No, oh, what can you do? <laughs> so here's our storm captain. A gift for me from the candle keep at Ocean Storch, but I don't ever recall meeting anyone. Ah, the Lonoskin Lily Bill. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. Rawson's, uh, I believe his name was. I remember specifically commenting on how I despised my patrols through the God's Grip for the area is full of Lonoskin Lily Bells and terrible weeds always send me into sneezing fits. Well, I am, uh, flattered. I'm afraid I cannot return the gesture. As head watch of the Morby Dry Docks, it is my responsibility to see that the peace is kept until the victory is christening. I simply haven't the time to pay would-be suitors to mind. No matter how desperate they may be, though perhaps once the ship is complete, I could consider a climb up the peninsula, perhaps. No! That's just what he wants you to do! Hey, where'd you crawl in from? I don't recall sending for no initiates. Hey, Burkai Corral. I once knew a lad named Burkai back when I served on the Cloud Dancer. He was a strapping young lad with teeth that, as white as a princess's paps. You ain't him, though. Nose ain't quite right. And who are you again? Oh, got something to tell me, has you? Austin say, what's that mumbling, mumbling milk soft white nut about this time? No, let me guess, that he's lonely? Bah, put a pair of warm women in his arms and another on his lap and it'll be right as rain. Mm, Tis what I do to help me forget about what ails me. Not that old Mimi Doe needs much help with forgetting, mind you. It might be I'll send him up a few saucy strumpets this coming eve. I love Mimi Doe. And that old fucking Wallafell just does not care. And I can respect that in a Wallafell. Given that I respect it in generally everybody. Three course and I can be done with this day's work and back to the L house where I belong. Leviathan's eye, you really done and fetched me them blinking cores. Otburn will be right pleased to see that. It was the foreman who came up with the idea to use cores to heat the rivets. Clever one, that man. Sharper than a fang and a fishback's beak. Probably why he made chief so quick-like. And there we go. We are done with Limsa Lamensa quests, and we're almost level 20, so... I'm gonna kill some things, get us level 20, and when next we meet, we will be doing quests in Old Da, I believe. Um, are there any more quests? Oh, shit, there is one more quest. Good, that'll get us up to 20. It's way out in the fucking ass end of nowhere at, a, at some docks. Oh, I bet I know what that one is. I bet we have to kill some Keykern. Those fucking rat men. Ooh, dim ratties, ooh, dim ratties. Ah. What will we do for dem ratties? Oh, we started fraught with fucking bullshit. But I think we ended pretty nicely. 
even as tired as I am, we still managed to get um, Lanoska done. And then we'll get Olda, and then we'll get Gordon here. Malvin's Gate Field Assessor, Azumin, is seeking help to exterminate an unknown pest. Excuse me, adventurer. Might I have a moment of your time? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Azumin, Field Assessor for Malvin's Gate. My work with the Custom House involves the investigation of claims made regarding the unlawful import of restricted items from foreign shores. Recently, there have been a number of petitions made by the residents of Candlekeep Quay concerning a species not native to Vilbrain. This species is indeed alien to the island and must be located and destroyed immediately before it is allowed to reproduce and possibly disturb the natural balance. Found here amongst the area's fauna. I would ask that you take this lump of fetid dodo flesh and place it upon one of the mounds of soil thought to be in the nests of the invasive species. The odor should draw forth whatever creature lurks beneath, making them easy targets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross. Up the hill we go. Suspicious moon. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if it were dire mites? Ah, it is Dyramites! They aren't even fully tailed stone scorpions. Ah, there's one. It actually has a tail. So now we go down to the docks. Uh, the Venarian mites, we've collected eggs from cargo carried on ships hailing from Radzat Han before, but always in Lumsa Minsa. There are no records of ships traveling to or from this tiny uh, from the tiny island nation making stops here in Canopy Quay, nor would they ever need to. Unless the mites did not come from a ship that laid anchor here, but from a different vessel, one with more heinous motives. I believe this will require further investigation. I thank you again for your assistance. Perhaps I may require your services again in the near future. We are now level 19, because I thought we were already level 19. Whoops. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. We will be in Olda leveling up Thaumaturge, Gladiator, and Pugilist this time. I have been Blind Ryan, and I will see you all then.